Welcome to the Maritime Museum in Jersey. Now the Channel Islands of Jersey and Guernsey have a fine maritime tradition which is not a surprise given that they're islands in the middle of the English Channel. But they have a long history. Jersey and Guernsey were the only parts of the United Kingdom that were occupied by the Germans during World War II. Jersey often claims to be the first part of the United Kingdom because William of Normandy had control of Jersey before he invaded in 1066. But the history of these islands goes back a long time before 1066. Good morning, and I'm standing outside La Hogue Bay in Jersey, United Kingdom. La Hogue Bay, this, is said to be one of the 10 oldest human constructions in the world. And it's built by overlaying the slab on the top across two pillars and then covered by dry stone construction and an earth mount. So this is over 5,000 years old, probably closer to 10. But what's it for? Well, it is for religious ceremonies. And if you go inside, nine meters underneath this dry stone construction and man-made mound above it, you find a little raised platform. And at sunrise on the, sun, the solstice, the sun rises in the east and a shaft of sunlight lands directly on that small altar. So Hog Bay was without doubt a pagan religious uh, location and like a lot of pagan religious locations after the coming of Christianity a church had to be built on top of it and this church or chapel dates back to the 1200s. So this itself is coming up to a thousand years old. So just to finish off the local history, you have underneath this man-made mound a five to ten thousand year old pagan temple. On the top you have a thousand year old human construction and now coming up in towards its first century built into this thousands of year old man-made mound is a German bunker from the occupation in World War II. So Jersey and Guernsey were not always islands. Before the end of the last ice age, they were little hilltops in the river valley. The last ice age ended and the sea levels rose. Jersey and Guernsey became islands and they've had a problematic relationship not only with the mainland of Europe, but with the United Kingdom ever since. Indeed, Jersey and Guernsey are not part of the United Kingdom, even though they're part of Great Britain. Go and figure that out. They have a free trade agreement with the European Union, but are not members of the European Union. So what happens to Jersey and Guernsey after Brexit? Do Jersey and Guernsey go with the United Kingdom, give up their free trade agreement, or do they keep a free trade agreement and an independent relationship with the European Union that the United Kingdom itself doesn't have? Because the UK is responsible for its foreign affairs and defence. And when we talk about defence, we remember that Guernsey and Jersey were occupied by the Germans during World War II because Churchill said, let the islands be undefended. And they stayed under German occupation until the 9th of May, 1945. Keen scholars of history would recognize that's the day after VE Day, Victory in Europe Day. In other words, the Germans kept the occupation of Jersey and Guernsey until the day after the Germans surrendered. Maybe Jersey and Guernsey will stay with Britain outside of the European Union. That depends on where their loyalty lies. Loyalty. The undefended islands, not liberated until the day after the end of the war in Europe.